Okay, hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture we're going to just recap what we've learnt in our lab. So what have we learnt so far for identity access management? So we've learnt that IAM consists of the following. It consists of users, consists of groups, and groups are a way to group our users together and apply policies to them collectively. It consists of roles, and then it consists of policies, which is made up of policy documents. And essentially, we can take our policy documents and apply them to users, groups, and roles uh, individually. Our policy documents remain universal. Our policy documents are made up of JavaScript object notation, um, otherwise referred to as JSON. And essentially, it's a key value pair. Now, that that key value pair consists of an attribute followed by a value. So if you remember from our um, admin administrator access in the lab, we saw something like this. So we have uh, our attribute, which is a version, and then our value, which is the date, and then our attribute, which is the statement, and then our values. And we can actually start to nest if we use the square brackets. So our attribute is effect, and our value is allow. Our attribute is action, and then our value is the wild card, and then resource is uh, our attribute and then again the value is the wild card so essentially we're there saying that you need to uh, allow uh, action so any action to any resource we're giving administrator access now you don't actually need to know how to read this um, you know or you certainly don't need to know how to program it to pass the exam it does help if you can uh, read it and the way I like to get familiar with JSON is just by going back to the AWS console clicking on the policy documents and then clicking through and actually just read reading what each one does. And it will start to make sense to you after some time, but it's it's very rare that you would get a question where it will ask you to evaluate a policy document. That's more in the, um, certainly in the developer exam or the sysops administrator exam. So what else have we learned? Um, IAM is universal. It does not apply to regions at this time. So when you create a user, a role um, or a group within identity access management, the region that you do it in does not matter. It's completely consistent across the platform. We've learned that the root account is simply the account created when you first set up your AWS account and it has complete admin access by default. And that is the only account that's going to have complete ad admin access by default. When you create new users, the opposite is true. They have no access to do anything by default, uh, which is my next slide. So new users have no permissions uh, when first created. We've also learned that new users are assigned an access key ID and a secret access key when first created. And that's what we downloaded in our CSV file. Now it's really important not to confuse them with passwords. You can't use your access key ID and your secret access key to log into the AWS console. That's why we then go, went on to create a password for our users. Um, what you can use the access key ID and secret access key for is to um, communicate with AWS either via the command line or using the SDKs or using the APIs and then you pass those credentials uh, to AWS but it's important to remember that you can't use those credentials to actually go in and log into the console. Um, you only get to view those credentials once. If you lose them you have to regenerate them. You can't view them again so you need to download them and save them in a secure location. Um, we also learned that you always have to set up multi-factor authentication on your root account. That's a critical security step. You always want multi-factor authentication on your root account. Otherwise, you're going to get that warning message down the bottom uh, when you first log into IAM. You can also create and customize your own password rotation policies, which we did right at the end of the lab. So we can say that we want it to be eight characters. We want the password to expire every 90 days. We don't want the password to be reused, etc. Okay, so that's it guys. That's uh, it for Identity Access Management 101. As mentioned, we will come back to this and look at IAM in a bit more detail. Um, but first I want you to get uh, more hands-on with other aspects of the console. Uh, and then towards the end of the course, we'll come back and deep dive into Identity Access Management. You certainly have learned a lot uh, to first get started. So in the next section, we're going to move on to S3. And S3 is a very big topic, but uh, it, it does involve lots of labs and it's a great thing to play with. And eventually, hopefully, you'll start to use S3 personally, like I do. I use S3 now to store all my files uh, in the cloud rather than using, uh, you know, storing them locally on my laptop. So if you've got the time, feel free to move on to the next section. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.